welcome. Today I'm here to talk about another dream I had, and I hope you find it interesting. So, in this dream, uh, hold on, I'm trying to remember. In this dream, I was at my house, and for some reason in this dream, I was like, I would say not rich rich, but like sort of rich. And I'm just saying this because in other dreams I had, I'm usually homeless, or I live in like a house that's not the best, or else I live in an abandoned house. This is the first dream I've ever had where I'm actually like kind of rich. Because um, most dreams, I either live just in my normal house, or I'm like really poor, or not that rich. I, I don't know. So this is the first dream I had where I was like sort of rich. So in this dream, I'm watching the news. And I would like to mention this dream, it's like my personality was kind of altered, because in this universe, or dream I mean, uh, it's funny because the way my dreams are just so vivid and stuff, it's almost like I'm in a completely another universe, like it's a different version of myself, it's weird. But um, anyway, I'm going to tell you the dream. Um, so in this dream, I'm in the living room, and I see the news, I'm watching TV and the news is on. And the news is talking about this club. Um, in my dream, I knew, like, the second I hear this, and, like, when I woke up, mostly when I woke up, I was like, that was a cult. <laughs> I mean, not to scare anyone. I just knew. I was like, I knew. So, um, I'm watching the news, and there's this group of people, and they're called the Apostles, which is very, very important. If you do not know, in the Bible, the apostles was a group that didn't really believe in God, and they actually tried to tell people that he was doing things by using the devil and different things like that. So it is very important that that is what they were calling my dream. Yes, the group was called the apostles. And this group, the way, this is how like the news explained it, basically, that they would play this game randomly in different parts of town, and if you did not, they would, they would go to, like, example, a store or something, and they would try to start this game, and if you did not pass their game, they would pick one random person in the store, and if you did not pass their game, it was like a game of different trivia questions, and if you did not pass, they would kill you. And they were going on in the news saying that this is happening, like, kind of here, there, and here, and they're like, it's not like a major thing at the moment, but it's getting up there, and they're like, we honestly just want to find these people and stop them, and everywhere they went, they always wore like a mask or something to cover their face. Hold on, I want to find something on my phone real quick to show y'all. Okay, I found a picture on Google, and in my dream, I'm just trying to be kind of specific, because I really wish y'all could all have dreams like this yourself. And I just, I'm just kind of trying to be specific, but this is the mask that all the people part of that cult, aka group, they were, in my dream, they were calling it a group, but in my head, I like, I knew it was a cult. So here, this is like the mask they were wearing, I found a picture of it on Google. Because I was like, I know I've seen these before, I just never really knew what they were called. Like, I've seen them maybe once or twice. But this is the exact same mask they were wearing in my dream. Just thought I would show that to y'all. Um, I hope it didn't look weird, because I know I'm showing my phone on my tablet. So I hope it didn't look weird, but that's exactly what they were wearing in my dream. So after I saw the news, and they were explaining what these people were doing, in my dream, like I said, my personality was kind of like altered. I was like really snotty, like I would say like really like when, like, I don't explain it. Like, when you have a lot of money and you're just snooty about it, like, you just want to show off your money to everyone. I guess it's kind of how my personality was. So, in my dream, I asked my mom if I could have some money. And my mom, for some reason, wouldn't give me the money because she was going on about how I already spent, like, $1,000 or something this month. Basically, in my dream, I remember she was saying that I spent, like, a lot of money already this month and she didn't want to give me more, even though we had it. And um, I kind of just got mad at her. And I just left, and I said, I'm going somewhere. Like, I kind of just yelled at her. I'm like, I'm going somewhere. And if I forgot to mention, after I saw the news, I remember I literally said these words after I turned the news off, and then I started asking my mom for money. I said, the news speaks such stupid stuff. Those were my exact words I said in my dream. I said, the, the news speaks such stupid stuff. Like, I did not believe for a second that there was a group called the Apostles going around killing people. I did not believe it for, like, one second in my dream. And in reality, that would have been a whole different scenario, probably. But like I said, in this dream, it was like my personality was off, if that makes sense. So um, after asking my mom for the money, and she said no, because she basically said I had already spent too much. Um, afterwards, I went to the um, our car. We had a personal driver in my dream. Yeah, we had a personal driver in my dream. So I get in the car, and I remember I'm just like driving, and the personal driver says like nothing. 
and we're driving for like a couple minutes and then we stop at this girl's house and she gets in my car and I'm telling you right now I did not recognize this girl like at all I didn't recognize her but apparently in this dream we were like BFFs I guess like best friends honestly I did not even like recognize her really so your guess is as best as mine so we're in the car together and my friend comes and I'm like where you want to go today and she's like we can go to the mall and I'm like okay that sounds great so we go to the mall and we end up going into this one store if I had explained the stores I'd say maybe it was JCPenney's because that's what it looked like and I rarely rarely ever been to JCPenney's it looked maybe like JCPenney's or like Target or something. And so we're in the store and um, we're in there and it just happens. The TVs have all been hacked in the mall. Every TV has been hacked in the mall. And I start kind of freaking out. But then I'm like, in my dream, because like I said, I was like snooty kind of. I'm kind of thinking, I was like, they're not going to pick me. And then I was thinking about all the money I have. And I was like, oh my God, they're definitely going to pick me. Because I'm like, they're going to pick me for like ransom. And I kind of panicked, but I'm not too panicked because I'm like, whatever they do, I can just pay them off. And I'm there, and my friend, she's like making this weird like face, like when you know somebody is just like pure guilt, like when they got guilt ran all over their face. And she like, kind of tells me she's like, she had this like I don't know what they're called. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but like this, I guess we say a jacket, but it's not a jacket. I don't remember what they're called. Um. And she like slides it off of her shoulder and I can see she has a tattoo. And the tattoo, in my dream, I just knew this. I guess from the news or something, I just knew this. This was the mark that you got if you had if you were in that cult or AK group. And she's showing me this and she tells me flat out, she's like, they wanted me to bring you here. And I'm like, why me? And I knew at this exact moment, it was like crystal clear to me. I knew that the reason they were doing this is because they were trying to get people that didn't believe the exact same way they did and were killing them. And then my friend telling me, they're like, you're a really big believer of God and the only way they thought they could get you was to bring you somewhere where you were isolated and easy to get and they knew you, they could only do it by using someone you would trust. And apparently me and the girl were like best friends and I really trusted her. And after she said this, I was like super panicked. And I started hearing this music playing, and I knew that was the music they played before their game was about to start. So I started going around the store, making sure all the doors are locked. All the doors. And if this was reality, I probably would have started praying, but this ain't reality. So, and like I said, this dream, my brain was kind of like altered, like I was me, but I was like a snooty, kind of meaner version of me. And so I'm going around the store. I even went to the storage and make sure that door is locked. And I'm just kind of panic after my friend said this. Like, I am, like, in panic mode. Like, I don't know what to do. And I couldn't leave the store because the whole mall had gone on lockdown. So I couldn't leave the store. I couldn't. The whole store was on lockdown. I couldn't leave the store. And I'm just panicked because I knew at this point for a fact that they are probably going to pick me. So I am running around, make sure the doors are locked. And I'm in the storage room. And I had locked. I had just locked, like, all the rooms in the storage and I hear someone, I hear someone trying to jiggle the handle, and they're outside, and I'm, like, panicked, not trying to talk, just hoping that they don't think anyone's in here, and this is what he said, he said, hey, I'm trying to pick this lock, I didn't, I couldn't see him at this moment, but I could hear what he was saying through the door, I could tell he was outside, and I could hear him saying, he's like, hey, I'm trying to pick this lock, but it's just not working, and he, I remember he called one of his friends over, another friend from the cult, and asked if they could please do it because they said he couldn't get it almost every time. So he gets called over and I that just made me panic like even more. And I remember I looked through the window because there was a window right next to that door. And I looked and like I said, they were always in disguise. But I remember the main disguise in my dream they wore was the one I showed you. They wore that mask and they usually had like a red, they usually had like a red and black outfit on. And red and black, you know whose colors those are. You know whose colors are red and black. Uh, and... So I look out the window, but this time he was dressed, I don't exactly want to say it, but he was dressed as a demon. I couldn't see who he was, but it was like, it wasn't like, a, it was like a Halloween costume basically, but you knew it was a demon. It was a Halloween costume, but it was a demon. And then after seeing that, I started running around the whole store in super panic mode, like that panic mode where you're about to just like pass out, you're so panicked. And... That was it. That was the whole dream. That was a very, very interesting dream. 
everything I just said was true. That's what, what I saw in my dream. Um, I hope you really enjoyed my dream. And, yes, bye for now.